doctor. Be whoever you need to be with Vital. Recent reports have revealed that some supplements do not meet basic quality standards and still others don't even contain what is promised on the label. Daunting news for consumers. Hi, Amra. It's good to see Pick and Bay has their vitamin advisors to give customers advice in front of the shelf. I'm sure you get lots of questions. Yes, lots of questions, product information and product quality. A lot of people buy products and they don't really know what is the nutritional values of the products. Well, with omega-3s, I think there's been lots of talk about the labels and quality of products and whether they've been tested to make sure that what we see on the packet is actually what's inside. That is the reason why this is a product that has been quality tested and it is been, uh, and it's got the seal on it. So you can assure that the customer will be satisfied with it. And that's so interesting because South African legislation doesn't really require food supplements to be tested. And that's why you have to look out for the GMP or good manufacturing quality stamp to make sure that products are tested for quality and safety. Well, I'm actually on my way to review these quality processes at Vital. It was good to see you, Marilyn. Vital have voluntarily adopted the good manufacturing practice guidelines to assure consumers that all of their products meet world-class standards. Now, Debbie, as Quality Assurance Manager, what does this GMP or Good Manufacturing Practice mean? It starts right in the beginning with us sourcing the correct raw material. And then as every raw material is received by the factory, it gets tested as well. So not a single raw material comes into this factory without being tested? That's right, and not a single product leaves the factory without being tested. Now I know that with good manufacturing practice or GMP standards, it's overseen by the Medicines Control Council in South Africa, but how does that compare with international standards? The Medicines Control Council has, has licensed us. We also have a good manufacturing practice certificate um, from the MCC, and in addition to that, we've also also been recognized by the Australian Authority, Pharmaceutical Authority, the TGA, as well as Canada Health and the UK Authority as well. I'd like to know more about the actual tests that these products go through. Omega-3 concentrate contains salmon oil and we actually test the salmon oil before we encapsulate the product. My lab manager Brenda will be able to tell us more. In addition to making sure your supplements meet pharmaceutical standards, you should also ensure that they are pesticide and heavy metal free. Rigorous testing throughout the manufacturing process is essential to ensure that. Tele Marks here yeah, is our lab manager and she's the perfect person to answer that question for you. Thank you. So Brenda, this is an Omega-3 concentrate product. It says here, contains Norwegian salmon oil providing EPA 87 milligrams, DHA 79 milligrams. How do you test to confirm these values? What we do is we do testing with a gas chromatograph. We prepare standards of EPA and DHA of known concentrations and then we prepare a sample in exactly the same way and compare the sample responses of the EPA and DHA to that of the standard. And that's how you confirm the actual content of each capsule. Exactly. Oh, now I understand it. Be whoever you need to be with Vital. I want to live the best life.